there, Mr. Holcomb, here with another episode of The Math Behind the Modules. This is Lesson 5, Identifying Proportional and Non-Proportional Relationships in Graphs. Okay, opening exercise says, Isaiah sold candy bars to help raise money for his scouting troop. The table below shows the amount of candy he sold compared to the money he received. Is the amount of candy bars sold proportional to the money Isaiah receives? Well, we have a Y column and we have an X column. And to determine proportionality, to find what we are, to find the value that we're multiplying X by to get Y, we have to take Y and divide it by X. So when I do that, if I take 3 and I divide it by 2, I get 1.5. And since we're dealing with money here, money received, Money is two decimal places. So that means that for every candy bar you sell, it costs $1.50. And you can check. Two candy bars, $1.50 each, would cost $3. So then I'm going to go down to the next row, and it says five candy bars, or four candy bars for $5. So when I do five divided by four, four will go into five once. With the remainder of 1, 4 goes into 10, 2 times with the remainder of 2, and 4 goes into 25 times. So in this scenario, they bought 4 candy bars for $5, they were $1.25 each. I do not need to go any further now, because the question is asking, is the amount of candy bars sold proportional to the money they received? And the answer is no, because why? divided by x has to be the same every time. For it to be a proportion. For it to be a proportion. And 3 over 2 does not equal 5. Okay, went off the board there one second. 5. Okay, so there's number 1. Next question. Using the ratio provided, create a table that shows money received is proportional to the number of candy bars sold, plot the points in your table on the grid. So I have a y divided by x again. I have 3 over 2, which is again 1.5. So if I just multiply this by 2, I get 4. If I multiply 3 by 2, I get 6. So 6 over 4 is going to reduce to 3 over 2, which is also 1.5. I multiply 2 times 3. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 divided by 6 is going to come out to be 0.5. And then finally, multiply 2 by 4. 2 times 4 is 8. 3 times 4 is 12. And 12 over 8 equals 1.5. So I added 2 each time on this side, and I added 3 to each one on this side to keep it proportional. Now let me move these values out of the way. Let's get rid of these. And now I'm going to explain how to graph. So in order to graph, we do ordered pairs, x, comma, y. x tells us which way to go right and left. This is my x axis, and this is my y axis. And 0, 0 is the origin. OK. So I sell two candy bars. This over here is candy bars. I suppose I should label this candy bars. And Y is money. Okay. All right. So if I have 2 is X, that means to go from the origin to the right 2. And then if money received 3 means go up 3 and put a dot. This is the point 2, comma. This is the point 4, comma, 6, which means go to the right 4, up 6. So I start at the origin, go over to 4, 
and up to six. So that is right there. Six nine is the point six comma nine, which tells me to start at the origin, go to the right six, and go up nine, which is right there. And 812 is the point, 8 comma 12. X is 8, which means go over to here, and then go up. Go up the 8 to 12, which is right here. Okay. Now I'm going to get my ruler out, and I'm going to be very accurate here. So let me go up and get it. It always goes at the top of the screen. So I'm going to bring this down. So I have my E ruler. I'm going to rotate it so it lines up with my dots as best as I can. And that looks right about right, right there. And then I'm going to draw a line through those points. Okay. Now when I move my ruler, you see that all of those points fall on that same line. Okay. And notice something down here. It went through the origin. So is that true? If you sell zero candy bars, are you going to get zero dollars? And the answer is yes, that is true. So there is how we graph our idea. Next page. Important note. Characters of graphs of proportional relationships. So I'm going to go back here again at this one here. This is a graph of a proportional um, set of numbers. The numbers are proportional. What do you see about this? Well, one, it's a straight line. The points are all on a straight line, and it goes through the origin. So that's what I want to write here. Okay. The points fall on a straight line. Includes the origin. Okay, so there we go. Made it all nice and neat for you. Those are the characteristics of a graph that's proportional. So here's example one. We have a set of values candy bars to money received. Remember that we're graphing two comma three. We're graphing four comma five. We're graphing eight comma nine. And we're graphing 12 comma 12. So I go over two up three. There's my point two three. Two candy bars, three dollars. Four candy bars, five dollars. Eight candy bars, nine dollars. And 12 candy bars, Twelve dollars. Okay, I'm going to get my ruler. I'm going to rotate it. I'm going to line up my first point and my last point the best I can. Okay, so that's about right, right there. So I'm going to draw a line now through those two points. This point is not on the line. This point is not on the line. And the origin will not be on the line. So this is not proportional. Okay, here's example two. We just move this up out of the way. I will be using it again. Okay. Graph the points provided in the table below and describe the similarities and differences when comparing your graph to the example one. Okay, so now I'm going to plot the point. And I'm going to write these each time, just so you remember they're ordered pairs and you need parentheses. 3, 9. Let me graph them as I do this. So here is 0, 6. 3, 9 is right here. 6, 12. Is, is, go over 6, up to 12. 9, comma, 15. So go over to 9, up to 15. 
and 12 comma 18 is 12 comma 18. Bring my ruler down, line them up. Similarities with example one. Well, if I go up to example one, what, are the, what is similar? Well, we plotted points. Points are similar. Okay, differences from example one. Okay. This set of points is on a straight line. Where the others are not. Okay. And that's it. This does not go through the origin, neither did the one up above. So they're both this, this set of points is on a straight line, whereas the other one is not. This one didn't go through the origin. Okay, so this one here, it may have gone through the origin, we don't know. But it's not on a straight line. So actually, zero candy bars, zero money, maybe it would have gone through the origin. If my line is not straight, it would have had to curve down in here. So the other difference is this graph. does not include the origin, the other one does. Here, zero was six, not zero, zero. Okay, that is the end of lesson five. Go to your problem set. But before that, remember that when two proportional quantities are graphed on a coordinate plane, the points appear on a line that passes through the origin.